Hi, my name is Barry Bowling. I am an application engineer with Yokogawa's Test and Measurement Department. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use a source measure unit, often referred to as an SMU. You can see here that I have three different models of source measure units available to me, and each has unique capabilities in terms of output range, that is to say voltage output and current output. First, I'll perform a simple sweep of a silicon diode here on the GS200 using the model GS200. In this case, I will sweep voltage and measure current, save the data to a CSV file, and then plot current versus voltage using Excel on the laptop. Then I will sweep a light emitting diode with a more capable source measure unit, the GS610, and a curve tracer software. So just like the diode, I will sweep voltage and measure current, and then plot current versus voltage in the curve tracer software. You will also see the LED output vary with input current. Okay, here I have the Yokogawa GS200 DC voltage and current source. It is good to 32 volts and 200 milliamps. I have a silicon diode which will be forward biased by the GS200 set up as a sweeping voltage source. The GS200 will step from 0 volts to 1 volt in 50 millivolt increments and will also pause and measure the current at each voltage step. This voltage current data will then be logged as data points into a CSV file. I will take that CSV file, open it in Excel, and create a simple current voltage or IV plot. This is commonly done to characterize diodes or match diode pairs. And while this could be done by hand, uh, it will be done quickly and easily by the SMU program feature, which is nothing more than a set of voltage point values that are programmed into a CSV file and loaded into the source measure unit. So again, the GS200 will forward bias the diode, measure the current, and save both values, the voltage and the current values, into a single CSV file for me. Okay, let's get started. First, I load the program, which is nothing more than a CSV file containing a list of voltage values that we want the SMU to play back. Here is the CSV file opened within Excel three columns. Each has value, range, and source type, either a voltage source or a current source. It is that simple. Once I've loaded this program, just a CSV file, into the GS200 storage media, then I simply press output, then program, and then run. It will run one time. Okay, that's it. The program has run completely. It has applied a voltage source at a number of points and measured and logged a current value at each of those voltage points to a CSV file. Let's go back to the PC and transfer that file to my desktop. In this case, the GS200 simply mounts as a storage media within the My Computer folder. Okay, now I simply open the file in Excel and here in the columns, you can see the voltage source value and the current source values. Here's the IV plot. Again, this is a silicon diode. You can see that as the voltage is swept from zero to approximately 0.8 volts, the current uh, characteristically increases exponentially. Okay, up next, let's go to the curve tracer software and sweep an LED with the GS610. Okay, next I'm going to perform a very similar sweep, this time on a light emitting diode which I've mounted to a heat sink here. The source measure unit this time is a more capable Yokogawa GS610. For my LED it has a greater output current up to 3.2 amps and it works with an easy to use curve tracer software which I've installed on my laptop. Okay, let's get started. Okay, I have it all set to go. I'm going to sweep voltage across 50 points from 0 volts to 3.8 volts DC. I am sweeping voltage and measuring current as seen in the graphic here. I have a limiter set for 1.5 amps. I will pause at each step for 200 milliseconds, let the LED stabilize, and then take the measurement with the SMU. Once these settings have each been made, I can press Save Setup here to save the setup. Okay, I'll connect to the GS610 and hit the Sweep button. 
It will sweep just one time. This takes a few seconds to do in this case. Okay, the sweep is complete. There are the sweep results. Current is ramping up on the y-axis as the voltage is increased on the x-axis here. I hope that you have found each of the demonstrations to be informative and useful. Thank you for watching my source measure unit demonstration. For any inquiries, please do not hesitate to contact an application engineer or visit us at tmi.yokogawa.com.